Well, Coach, first impressions, I mean, what did you think today? Uh, you know, I think it was uh, obviously a, a good segment. You know, got a chance to come out here and scrimmage. Uh, alarming things to me are, you know, we, we kind of let Elkins play for about 15, 20 plays and then kept him out because I know Elkins can play. You know, I want to get the second and third guys in there. Same thing with Tevin. You know, so did Julius Childs. We, we, we kept some of our good players that uh, we know can play out. I want to see some other guys, and obviously finding a, a third center right now is a concern for me, you know. But uh, overall, I uh, saw some good things on both sides of the ball, you know. Uh, it's never as good as you think it is or never as bad as you think it is, like I told our team. Uh, get a chance to watch film and kind of make sure we got our depth chart, depth chart uh, exactly the way we want it. How about the backs? I mean, some of those freshman backs look They're pretty really good, good, you know. Uh, you know, they're, 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 a different, they're a different type of back than we've had here in the past. You know, uh, Jody Webb can go house on you. Martin Ruiz can go house on you. Missouri can go house on you. Uh, we have unbelievable speed in our backfield right now. And uh, that's not even including DeMon Himes, you know, who's the starter. And you got two pounders in Torian Pace and uh, Bellamy. So, uh, you know, we've got a pretty good group back there. Yeah, what, what happened with Pace when you got shot? Oh, he, him and uh, Travis Williams had a heck of a collision. Uh, Travis was coming on a blitz there through the A-gap. Torian came up and met him in a hole. Big collision, and, you know, probably got his bell rung. Um, all the indications are he's all right, but uh, he should be fine. Who's the one guy that made the biggest jump in your mind today? Oh, okay. jeez. Um, you know, uh, I think there's guys like Jody Webb there, number 20. Uh, you see what he can do. He's a guy that's doing some good things. Uh, I'd say that's one. I'd say number two would be Jalen Kelly, number 40, the linebacker. You guys don't realize he's 240 pounds, never lifted weights, played basketball in the off seasons all the time. He's uh, he's untapped, that guy. He, he's a middle linebacker that'll put a hat on you. One of your big concerns was who's going to play behind Kurt. What'd you think of the guys that you had back there? Today? You know, I think Dante's uh, in, uh, work in progress still, but he'll be hit as of right now. He'll be the number two guy. That's what our, our, our plan is. Um, you know, this guy continue to get more and more reps so we can get a comfort zone as far as what he's doing. I mean, you saw him down here. Uh, we were in the option. I mean, he can take it. I mean, it will be a different style of offense when he's in there. We're still running our the standard Youngstown State offense, but uh, we'll be we'll be a little bit more like we did at Illinois with Juice Williams when Dante Nane is in there. And, uh, or you guys would know as Tim Tebow type, so that's what we're, you know, we're about to run them.